Hello, my friends, and welcome to The Chew. I'm Robert Wallace, and this is the place where we ask, are we choosing the way of Jesus, or are we choosing our own way? Well, this is our 23rd Lentinal devotion together, and I want to encourage you to grab your Bible and turn to Matthew chapter 26. We'll be reading a passage here shortly. For many of you as Christians, you're familiar to very familiar with this passage, which means that sometimes we can overlook it. If you're watching this video and you've never accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior, then this will be new to you, or you might be familiar with it. Today we're going to ask some questions about this passage. And in the brief time that we have here together today, there is much that I could say, but I'm going to keep it very concise today because I think we need to really think about the Lord's Supper. I hope you grabbed your Bible and you're ready to read along with me. Matthew chapter 26, beginning in verse 26. We'll be reading through verse 29. While they were eating, Jesus took bread. <coughs> Pardon me. While they were eating, Jesus took bread, and when they had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat, this is my body. Then he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will not drink from this fruit, from this fruit of the vine, from now on until the day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. This, my friends, is the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Will someone say thanks be unto God? Here are our questions for today. Do we remember Jesus instituted the Lord's Supper for us to remember what he has done for all of humanity? Do we remember that his sacrifice takes away our sins? Do we remember that the Lord's Supper reminds us of our hope found in Jesus Christ today? Do we look forward to celebrating with Jesus in his Father's kingdom? He has promised us, promised us that he will in verse 29. Do we know that today we are living with his Holy Spirit in us as his followers, and God's children. This is the way of life that Jesus has for us, and we simply need to choose. Are we choosing the way of Jesus that leads to life, or are we choosing our own way? I'm praying for you today, and I hope you're praying for me, that as we chew on this passage with a fresh look, that we will invite the Holy Spirit to give us eyes to see and ears to hear God's truth from his word, that we will have a receptive heart and mind to receive these truths, and then, today, we will all take a step of faith with the same boldness, commitment, and courage of Jesus to do what he has led us to do. I pray you'll have a wonderful day, my friends. Go in the peace of God. Blessings to you. Bye for now.